Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Code Break. Today is the second episode of our file editor series. Let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so last time this is what we created. We have the basic kind of style and HTML layout that we wanted. And now we want to add the functionality of it. And so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to actually get all the files in a folder and display them here like this. So what we're going to do for that is I'm going to actually go in here to our folder and I'm going to create a new new folder called PHP. And this is going to house our PHP functions for now. So let's hop back into our editor. In PHP we're going to create a new file. So I'll just do it like this. And this is going to be called, we'll name it uh, dir.php for directory. Um, and let's get this, let's move this into PHP. Okay, so, oops, wrong symbol. Start this off, we're gonna wanna first, we're gonna, we're gonna post the, uh, the directory to it. So let's get that right here. All right, so obviously we need to do some JavaScript too to, to back this up, but we're gonna do that in a second here. And then we're gonna have, so to get all the files, what you actually do is we're gonna have scan scander dir all right and that's going to give us a list of every single file and so now we do for each dollar files as file so now we're going to loop through this array of files and what we're going to do is we're going to just echo dollar file that's all we're going to do for now all right going back in here we have this, this is our layout, right? So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna delete this, but for now I'm just gonna save this down here. Just so we have this later, because we're gonna need it. Oops. Okay, and then let's go ahead and let's just delete, delete all these for now. Because we're gonna have this dynamically loaded, so we don't want to load unnecessary things there. All right, so next what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna make a, basically a function that will post to uh, PHP for me. So that's going to be function post. And what it's going to receive, it's, it's going to get a URL. It's going to get some, uh, what's a good name for this? I'll just say data, I guess. And then it's also going to receive a callback. All right. So if you don't know how to do this, this is basically it's XHR. Uh, it's like, it's a, it's a request, basically. We're requesting information from the server. Um, specifically from this file and it's gonna return it to us in here so if you forget how to do this you can always go to w3 xhr request JavaScript and if you look over here we can see how to do this here so essentially what you do is you create a new request um, you you open it and then you send it and you can send it information and so what we want to do is we want to send it um, the, the folder we're trying to open so if we look down here, we can also see all these events, and you can see when it has loaded, and like when it's complete, and you can run the callback after that. And so that's essentially what we're going to be doing here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to make a new, actually I'm just going to copy this in case I spell things wrong, new request here. Okay. And we're gonna name this XHR. Now we want to do XHR .onload equals function, and we're gonna say if this is gonna be if it if it worked, we're gonna do we're gonna run callback. Okay, and so we can check if this worked. I don't know if they have it in here. It might be in the in the W three one, but we're actually gonna be doing a post, not a get. Uh, so let's see if we can find it in here. Oh, this is important too. We're going to want to do this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just copying things from W3. But, so we want to we wanna set our set our header up here too. And we're going to want to... This is actually named differently. This is just setting the content type so that the server knows what kind of information you're sending it. And then we're also... We're just going to steal all this, honestly. Um... Because what we want to do is we want to send it information, and we don't want to confuse the server at all, so we want to know what kind of information. So this is a post, 
like I said before, this is a post right here. So this is how you get post variables in PHP if you didn't know how to do that. Uh, we're gonna send this to the URL, but since everything is gonna be in our PHP folder anyway, we might as well do PHP slash URL. And then true, this means it's gonna be asynchronous, I believe, yep. And that way it won't do anything else until it's, until it's done getting the information. All right, and so now down here, we're gonna wanna send it our data. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a sec. So, now that we've done this, we also need to forgot about the thing. I there we go. There we go. We're doing the <laughs> copying this too. So, basically, I did this wrong, but this should be on ready state change. You're checking if if it worked. Basically, status 200 means it worked, and then you're going to be doing something. And so that something is going to be the callback. Okay. So, hopefully this works. One thing that is a problem is the data. So when you send data through XHR, you send it, let's see if there's an example in here, um, like this, right? So you have a variable name equals value, and variable name equals value. But there's, I don't want to have to send it like that in JavaScript. I just want to maybe send it an object or something. And so what we'll do is we'll decode this into the URL. So how we're going to do that is we're going to say if type of data equals object and we'll set a actually no we won't yeah we will <laughs> sorry in here we'll say new object equals a string and we'll do for um I in data, so we're looping through the data, new object plus equals, we'll do I, so the name, equals, and the value. Um, but we also need to add that little ampersand at the end here, so we're going to say if uh, I, hmm, hmm, let's actually... We can't, okay, object dot keys, I, sorry, <laughs> data i, what this is doing is it's getting an array of keys for the data object, um, and we're going to find the key that we're currently on, so if that index, basically if it's not the very last one, so if it does not equal we're going to do this exact same thing, dot length, minus one. So this is saying if the, the, the current value that we're checking, if it is not the very last value in the object, we're going to add that little ampersand, so new object plus equals ampersand. Okay, perfect. And down here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set data equal to new object. So now, when we send this, it's it should it should work. So what we need now is we need a folder. So let's go ahead. We're going to go here. We're going to actually get our own folder. So we're going to copy address. And in our load function, which we haven't made yet, yeah, we did. Never mind. We're going to do. We're going to make a function called open folder and we're going to send it this right here and I'm actually going to replace all these backslashes with forward slashes just a weird thing with my computer um, I'm going to replace it like that and we may need to replace this with percent 20 or whatever that is but figure that out as it goes um, yeah that could be a problem so do function open folder and we'll do the folder name right and now what we want to do is we want to post to dir.php. We're going to give it the folder equal to folder. All right, and then the callback is going to be this function right here. And of course, we also, I did forget to do this. Up here, you can get uh, the this.response 
text. So that's going to be whatever this document returns will, will be the parameter in the callback. And so that's going to be the data here. So we'll just do, we're going to set the file contents. equal to the data. Okay, this was a lot, and let's hope it works, which it, I know it won't. Oh, we forgot to change this to XHR. All right. All right, undefined variable post on line two. Um, oh, oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry, I completely forgot the, the underscore here. That's really important. Let's go ahead and try now. Uh, undefined index DIR, DIR. Okay, so it looks like this is what didn't work here. So let's go ahead and let's just console.log the data. I'm doing this all for the first time, by the way, um, in a while. I haven't worked on this in a while. So this is what this looks like. I'm guessing the problem is that it's not URL encoded. So there is a a function actually that will URL encode it. <laughs> so we should probably do that. So in here we're gonna do you or no sorry here. I'm pretty sure that's the the function. But I could be wrong. So oh look at that. No? <laughs> okay. URL encode. So it looks like okay. There is a function that will just do it. Encode URI, thank you. Thank you, okay. So we're gonna run that on this. Jesus. And now, it should work. Let's actually, just to check, just so we can see what we're doing. There we go. All right, now we have this. Perfect, it, per it percent 20 all the spaces. So it looks like though we're still not receiving this, so I'm gonna pause for a sec, figure out what's going on. All right, guys, I just checked. This was a serious new mistake. Uh, I called it folder over here, as you can see, um, and in there I was looking for dir, but here it's folder. So now, now we're getting our folder. All right, so this looks a little crazy. So let's clean this up a little bit here. Just make sure that we add a, a line break after it, and now we can. Just kidding. There we go. Now we can see all of our different files. So we have a dot, a dot dot, ace, index, HTML, PHP, res. These are all the, the files and folders that we have. Now these two right here, the dot dot is a back, so this would go back a directory, and this is the same directory that we're in. So we're not gonna we're not gonna use those right now. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna say if file equals dot or dot dot we're gonna continue. I'm not going to include those ones. Um, and I'm actually going to... This is just a thing that I've heard. If you use uh, these quotes, because it doesn't try to parse the variables inside of them, it's quicker. It's it's just not a big deal, but I'm just going to change that. All right, cool. So now it breaks completely. Um, <laughs> else, it didn't break completely. I just didn't... Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to echo, we're going to use this thing now, we're going to echo this right here. Okay, and so obviously what we want to do here is we're going to replace this with the actual file. And one other thing we want to do is we want to check if it's a folder or a file. So is underscore file, this is a PHP um, file here. And what we're actually all, another thing we want to do is we want to get the full path. So I'm just going to call this path, actually. And that's going to be equal to the, the folder that we're in, a slash, and then the file. Um, all right. And so then we're going to check that. And if it is a file, we're going to want to echo that. And then otherwise, we're going to echo pretty much the same thing except this is going to say folder, all right? And we don't want this to be js.svg. We want to find the actual file type. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, ext variable 
and we're gonna put that right here because all the images has an, have the name of the extension as their file name. And so what we do now is we do path info of the path and we're getting the extension. Okay, so we just did a lot here. Let's go back and look at that. So look at that right there, look at that. It's perfect, <laughs> it's beautiful. So now you can see we have index.html, script.js, style.css, and they all have the picture we want. One thing that really bothers me though is that it's it's alphabetical order and we want all these folders to be on the top. So we can fix that pretty quickly um, by, by having either two for loops or by creating an array and then doing that. But I'm just going to keep it simple and I'm going to do two for loops. So these are going to be all the folders, so we'll just cut this out, right? And then what we want to do is we want to make another for loop. This seems really redundant. There's a better way to do this, I'm sure, but we're going to go through the files all over again, which is pretty inefficient. But now we're just doing basically if is dir. then we want to echo this right here. Okay, and let's go ahead and grab this again. And we also need to re-exclude the continue, or sorry, these right here. So now we have that, but I forgot, I actually need to put this before. So we're looping through this, we're only echoing the folders first, and then we're only echoing the files second. That way, all the folders will come first. And they're still in alphabetical order, but just the folders will always come first. Okay, so that was this video. Next up, we're going to be working on the part where you can click on it, you'll see the file, you can edit it, and then save it. That's going to be our next step. Thank you guys for watching this episode, and I hope to see you next time. See ya!